In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some tips on bringing in a title with depth. This is a title where the letters closer to the viewer seem larger and then they retreat back toward the horizon and are smaller. The example you're about to see has four different title texts. The second one is the one that uses this technique and will show you a bit about how to use this yourself. I have a normal video on track number one. And then if I enlarge it so you can see the content here, uh, below that I have an empty track two. That's where we're going to put our three-dimensional title. If I look on track number three, track number three is a conventional title, and then track number four is my music. My conventional title actually has three components. If I drag toward the end, you'll see all of them. And now I have the title Florida, I have the web address, and then I have the action item book now. Those are all part of this title. You cannot mix the 3D title in with these kinds of title texts. They have to be separate. So what I'm going to do is add a title text on track number two that's three-dimensional that will give me my vacation 2022. To do that, I go to the title room. I can press the F7 function key. And instead of using the default My Title, which I almost always use, I'm going to use my 3D title. I'll take and drag that down and put it in track number two, and we'll lengthen it to match the rest of the content here. Then we'll shorten this so we have more space to view our video. Now there's my 3D title. I'm not going to use the extrusion of it, but you can see that as you put it on the screen, that's the default. We'll show you a bit about ignoring that to make a slightly different kind of title. Press the F2 function key, and that will get me into my title designer. Now that I'm in my title designer, I'm going to see some different options than what I normally see when I'm using this tool. If you notice, I have three options on the left, 3D rotation, texture, and 3D settings. But I have other things on the left that are not as detailed as they are in the normal title designer. I have a set of character presets, and I can use any of these with my title if I like, or I can start out by clicking on one of them and then modify it. These are presets that are only for 3D titles. They're not identical to the ones you see on the other screen. I also have some font face controls. If I turn that on, you notice I have a uniform color. I can't do two color or four color, but I do have an option called extrusion. We're going to use that by basically turning it off in this case. The more I drag the slider to the right, you'll more, the more you will see on the screen that we have this depth, this black in the default here. I'm going to go as far as I can to the left to the extrusion value of 1. Now we're going to use another function here, which is the rotation settings. I'm going to turn on that, and here are my rotation options. The default value for x is 0, y is 20, and z is 0. So let's see what happens when we change the x. When we change the x, this is what we'll see. When we change the Y, this is what we'll see. And we change the Z, and we get this kind of rotation. I find the easiest way to reset any of these is drag across the numbers and type what you want and press Enter. We'll turn these back to the default. And now what I want to do is only work on the one that's the Y value. First of all, I'm going to edit my text. Now when you click in the text, it'll turn two-dimensional. And here's where you can edit it. We'll call this Vacation 2022. And then it will go back to whatever the Y or X or Z rotation happens to be. In this case, I want to take this and I want to 
click on it and then move the slider to the right about something like that. Now I can take it and I can move the mouse over it and slide it in and move it around. This will be the place where it will go. Now one problem we have with this is you notice underneath this there are no keyframe controls. You cannot keyframe this. So how can I get it to move in? Well, the way that I can do that is I do have some animation controls. Let's click on that tab. When we do this, we have an in animation and an out animation. And you notice by the title of the animation that each of these apply only to 3D. It's a subset of the normal animation. You don't have as many options. And each of these are designed only to work with a 3D kind of title. I'm going to pick for now a 3D zoom. Click on that. And here's where I have my zoom in for vacation 2022. Now I can control the duration of the zoom by clicking on the blue green area and either shortening it or lengthening it uh, to control the speed at which it comes in. But that's basically all the motion control I have since I cannot keyframe it. We'll, look at, we'll click on OK for now and see what we have here. And now if we look at our video, let's go back to the beginning and we'll go back to the actual absolute beginning and we'll play this. Yeah. Now you notice it didn't come in exactly where I thought it would. You do have to do some tweaking in two ways. First of all, uh, you'll have to tweak the location of it because what you see in the previous screen is not always accurate. You also have to move this left to right if you want to kind of align it to the music which is what I'm trying to do in this particular case. I'll make it come in a little faster here and I'll double click on it again and I'll take my vacation 2022 slide it a little bit left because I don't want the high numbers off the screen. We'll click on OK. Let's so see if we have a little better result the second time around. And we'll try for this. Well, I can still work on some timing a bit if I want to, but you see the, the practice of how to do this. Now, what I like about this is I can treat it like a two-dimensional text, but I can angle it a little bit as much as I want. That adds a little bit of creativity to the way in which you can work with text in CyberLink PowerDirector. <laughs>